Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SJ-30i flight test program is proceeding well. Hartzell 5-blade composite propellers are coming soon to King Air 200 fleet. And Honeywell forecasts 7,600 new business jet deliveries in the next decade. Welcome to Aero News Network's coverage of NBAA Base. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. The Cyberjet reimagining of the SJ-30 program, starting with the SJ-30i and following with the SJ-30X, is going well. And the current test article was on display at NBAA Base, with one of the most intriguing panels we've seen in years. We're coming through the certification program. Uh, we did our first flight on October 9th with the new avionics from Honeywell. We'll work through that full program. We've got about 15 months left and we'll start delivering airplanes. Tell us about the avionics package. It's a Honeywell suite. We branded as CyberVision. It's a four screen, gives all the bells and whistles, brings the airplane up into a state of the art system as opposed to the older system that was certified under the SJ-30-2. What kind of uh, certification program is involved at this point to upgrade this airplane? Most of it right now will be uh, autopilot testing. We've got to redevelop the autopilot with the new avionics and a lot of flight tests associated with that. We'll probably put another 300 hours on the flight test airplane. A lot of work, but uh, we're excited about it. We think it'll, it'll bring the airplane back to market in a way that um, will be difficult to compete with. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Pratt and Whitney, along with Pilatus and Honeywell, launched the PC-12 NGX aircraft, powered by the Pratt and Whitney PT-6E series engine. The engine is the first turboprop engine in general aviation to offer a dual-channel integrated electronic propeller and engine control system. The company's new Eagle service plan will also be enhanced for the PT-6E series engine. The FAA granted an STC to Winglet Technology for their Citation Sovereign Epic Flight Management System Takeoff and Landing Database and Flight Planning Database Update. The update incorporated improved second segment climb, in route climb, and cruise performance provided by the Transitional Winglet STC. The Transitional Winglet STC increases the Citation Sovereign maximum takeoff weight to 30,775 pounds and the maximum zero fuel weight to 21,000 pounds. The United Republic of Tanzania signed a firm purchase agreement with the Havilland Canada for a Dash 8 400 aircraft. The aircraft, which will be leased to and operated by Air Tanzania, will join three others already in service, and another previously ordered. The aircraft will be delivered in a 78-seat dual lavatory configuration. NBAA and Gamma leaders announced the Business Aviation Global Sustainability Summit will be held in March of 2020 in Washington, D.C. The gathering will be focused on accelerating the availability and the use of sustainable aviation fuels. Sustainable aviation fuels are a central focus of this year's NBAA convention. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einem globalen Kundenfokus. 
We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Hartzell Propeller completed an FAA type certificate for a new five blade carbon fiber propeller system for the King Air 200 fleet. These custom design props will be available through Raiseback Engineering via STC for King Air 200, B200, and B200 GT aircraft. This new propeller system, which increases performance across the board, is the first five-blade structural composite propeller certified on the King Air 200 series. As usual, you folks have some really interesting stuff in the works. Tell us what you're doing for the King Air. Right, so on the King Air 200, 250 series, we've been working with Raysbeck Engineering, as we have many times before, on a new five-way composite propeller, which is the first certified structural composite on the King Air 200 series. Um, it's using, utilizing our Raptor shanks uh, and our Raptor hub series, which takes quite a bit of weight out of the prop, even going from four-way to five-way. So we're really excited about that, and the performance is pretty significant as well. When did this project start? So we have started this project with Raysbeck, gosh, about a year and a half ago. And this is a custom blade design, so it was brand new tooling for us on the composite side. And it appears to be a real home run. As I, as I mentioned, the performance, about 15% shorter takeoff roll, 15% better low-end climb, and about five to eight knots of performance at cruise. So pretty significant versus the, the OEM standard prop. Honeywell is forecasting up to 7,600 new business jet deliveries worth $248 billion from 2020 to 2029, while that's down 1 to 2 percentage points from the 2018 10-year forecast. Purchase plans for used jets are significantly higher in this year's survey. Operators worldwide indicated that 32% of their fleet is expected to be replaced or expanded by used jets over the next five years, up to 8 percentage points compared with survey results from 2018. Key findings in the outlook indicate operators plan to make new jet purchases equivalent to about 17% of their fleets over the next five years as replacements or additions to their current fleet, a decrease of 3 percentage points compared with the 2018 survey results. Of the total purchase plans for new business jets over the next five years, 35% are expected to occur in the first two years of the survey, with 57% of purchase plans realized by year three. This is five percentage points higher than last year's surveys. Operators continue to focus on larger cabin aircraft classes, from large cabin through ultra-long range aircraft, which are expected to account for more than 71% of all expenditures of new business shuts in the next five years. And that wraps up our show for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, just head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.